Felt, I'm ready to go. All right, all right, it's weekend and we're recharging our batteries. Richard here back again with another quick dose of wave surfing. This time I'm keeping my focus on WTI, the crude oil. Yeah, light crude oil, US oil. So as all signs are uh, basically pointing me on the downside at, uh, at this time. So uh, yeah, it's Saturday, the markets are closed, it's very quiet. However, I'm taking advantage of this and preparing for next week. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this trading idea that I have for next week. It's fresh out of the box and looks uh, looks quite promising. It was it was indeed posted uh, on uh, lionheart-cwa.com. Um, we can actually find it uh, find it right here. All right. So if we if we basically uh, go ahead and full screen this. We'll go through the wave count. I actually marked this as an ABC corrective. We're shooting basically for the downside on a bearish move for us to basically complete this five-way structure on the uh, C towards um, towards basically the uh, 50 levels, 49.50, 50 levels basically there. So, um, in other words, let me actually go live here. Okay. In other words, this, this is uh, this has just been uh, just been posted right now. But what I'm actually uh, let's say what I'm actually expecting within this um, minute minute waves uh, A and B with red right here, uh, we have the minuets A B C towards this A and completing after that A and then B and then C. Um, notice that here we have a contracting triangle. So within this uh, within the sub minuets, right? Let me just okay, all right. Within the sub minutes, we have the microwaves uh, forming, uh, forming basically contracting triangle A, B, C, D, E, and then shooting the upside, breaching through, but failing to breach through the 54.4 levels, which gives us basically a clear idea that the um, that this wave, the uh, minuet wave uh, C has been completed and with, uh, with it the minute B. So, um, we're, we're right now, we're on the bearish side. I do have a um, open trade on the on the, on crude oil, which I'm actually keeping it open since the 12th of January. So, it's been quite some time, two weeks and something, almost three. So um, the the thing is that uh, this I, I was expecting a you know a zigzag right here towards A and then uh, let's say B and then from here to to drop. However, we have a complex uh, complex structure right here. I I marked this one as W X uh, X Y because within this X we do have this contracting uh, contracting triangle right here. So it's quite um, it, it's quite. Uh, it, this wave count is, is quite difficult. Um, yeah, so the re I'm gonna keep this this trade open. Gonna keep uh, monitoring it until the uh, let's say for uh, for next week to actually see. Uh, however, it looks good right now, so it should commence towards Y. 50 levels is is basically the target. Um, now uh, on the on the actual let's say on the actual website, if I can actually go back there, up okay, there we go. Okay, uh, the entry entry that I actually said that uh, you guys should um, should keep a keep an eye out would be 53.50 stop loss at the 55 levels and uh, take profit 49.50 or even 50. All right. So basically, the invalidation levels for this count would be your stop loss 55 point uh, basically 55 levels right um, because if if this goes goes through then of course it, it goes uh, it goes above this consolidation areas right here so it's it's most likely uh, um, you know it's invalidating this this wave count however this wave count seems pretty right to me so that's the reason for the for, for the post and for this uh, for this actual video so this is what I'm keeping on my eye uh, on for the next for the next week <clears throat> now will take advantage of uh, of this opportunity to uh, basically make a very quick follow up on the on the gold uh, trade the sell uh, that was actually posted uh, 3 days ago on January 25th so 
if we uh, we actually see here I'm, I use this um, if you not see, uh, sorry the uh, pitchfork Andrews pitchfork to actually say that there's an upcoming flag a breach a breach for the channel and then the flag and then the drop that we're expecting towards the second wave corrective um, I'm, I'm expecting maybe C a zigzag right here you can actually see that it went went down right here I'm gonna go on the trade as well let me just see okay there we go we have the trade here and the fifth wave breach and then the flag so let's zoom on in to actually see this okay we have one and then two and then an extended three one two three four five so this is basically where the flag uh, have flag has uh, has comments uh, most of you I get I get feedback that you're already in this trade so just a quick uh, just a quick follow-up here to to actually the, let you guys know that what I did was I hedged myself right here with a buy position on this. So most likely for the next uh, for the next week I'm gonna uh, take profit on uh, on the sell position. So basically what we're doing right right here because of this bullish divergence. And notice that I used uh, Andrew's pitchfork once more so I can actually determine the channels. We have a possible breach right here. So same thing same thing like here when it dropped and went uh, went back forming a flag same thing I'm actually expecting right here a rise and then basically a flag flag formation and then towards the uh, towards the C so right basically we're waiting for a an A a comeback for the B corrective and then the final C and then of course the other uh, the other leg for the corrective to finalize the um, <coughs> C wave towards the 61.8 finalizing second wave corrective as well and then we're shooting on the upside okay so this is this is basically what I what I wanted to say of, about uh, about gold let me go just go on the dollar index right here because I did made uh, slightly uh, it modifies slightly um, this move was quite quite small to actually be considered as uh, as the fifth fifth wave so in other words what I did was I actually marked this as a fourth fourth wave because um, there's a, there's a comeback expected. Obviously, as you, can, you guys can see, I actually mark here a bearish divergence as well, temporary one. So, I at this stage I'm, I'm basically waiting on wait and see mode to see if this will be will basically have a uh, a breach of this uh, of this of this channel and then of course basically making a flag and then shooting up if this if this happens we will see but um, by the looks of it this is a corrective four so what we're gonna have is basically a comeback towards here and only then we're gonna go high so yeah this is what I'm keeping my eye on for uh, for next week uh, basically now this um, the analysis was actually posted here. Um, you can always, obviously, uh, go to the go to the website, lionheart-cwa.com. Register a free account, of course, for content access. However, do uh, members do have exclusive access to several, you know, trading setups, uh, ideas, uh, signals, um, insights, etc. But not only that, but um, yeah, uh, I, have, I do get feedback. What was the best way to reach me, or you know, what's well, is this button right here on any page on on the website? This is this will come uh, this will come in handy for you guys, right? Just book um, just book a session. By the way, um, this will be free for the full for the full month of uh, of February, right? So. By all means, just use it. Don't be afraid. I'm not. Uh, I don't bite. <laughs> so uh, just use it because you, every every member, every register, um, registrant, basically every member has uh, has a right to have one session free. So take advantage of it. You know, use me, and that's basically why I'm here to help you guys. So yeah, we'll keep in touch. We're gonna follow up, of course, on this. But that's uh, that's basically it uh, for today. Just wanted to brief you, brief you guys up. Uh, have a great weekend, stay in the green and many pips ahead.